Hello there. You join me here today on the Horton Complex and today uh, I'm fishing on the historic church lake. Um, this has been around for quite some time and it's new, been fished by a lot of good anglers and there's a lot of big fish in here. Um, this time of year, uh, as you've probably seen from the last vid, I like to stay nice and mobile, go around with a couple of different approaches, bottom bait and uh, my version of the Chodrick. Uh, as you can probably hear, we've got uh, the planes going over today. We're right under our flight plan of Heathrow, so you'll have to bear with us where that's concerned. Um, so yeah, Horton Church Lake, some real big stonking fish in here. As I say, key this time of year is staying mobile. Uh, I'm gonna keep myself going around, have a walk around, fish a few swims, see if we can't get involved. Um, Last video, as I said, uh, I caught one on the bottom bait and after the cameras had gone, I had one on the other rig I was fishing on the day, which is my variation, the Chod rig. Not something I use a lot throughout the year, but this time of year, and for some reason, the big fish, they just seem to fall for it this time of year. It's, you know, it's quite a blatant thing to us. Um, but I wanted to try and take it and try and improve my hook holds in terms of a lot of times when I do fish Chods uh, and I get hooks, I bite land like the landing ratio just isn't good enough in my opinion so i started thinking with my bottom bait rigs um i land 99 percent of them on the mugger so could i get that involved in my chod rig so that's what i've done um the beauty that i've found about it is is means i can do like a shorter boom section because there's a natural curve to the hook when it exits uh the bristle fillet ex exits it i don't have to bend the uh, fluorocarbon over so it means i can fish a lot shorter boom section and get this down to pretty much half an inch yet i'll still have that curve over without it touching roof skin touching bottom um the main line i like to use when i'm fishing this style of fishing because one swim to the next you could be fishing 20 yards when you row over the next minute you might have to bang it to the horizon you know so my fluorocarbon just won't do that distance so this gthd i've got a spool of it i mentioned it last bit again um really impressed and only getting more impressed the more i use it if i'm honest um so we go from the uh GTHD on the spools run through. We've got about a four foot, three to four foot section of the uh, Camflex leg core. Uh, buffer bead at the top, rig obviously in the middle, using the tapered buffer beads that Darwin provides, just to make sure that it pass over all your knots nicely. Um, obviously my rig, another buffer bead, and I keep that separation down to the XL buffer bead, Q ring, and then obviously my lead attached. Um, I like to have a fair bit of separation just to ensure that my uh, hook bait is well away from the lead, no chance for tangle or bedding down is anything too horrible. Uh, so how do we tie it? I'm going to start with a 6 to 8 inch section of this trip wire. I'm using 25 pound today. Uh, I'm also using a size 4 hook. Because it's 25 pound, because uh, I've got big fish in front of me, I do like to use a larger hook. The fact the uh, hook bait hovers directly over the top doesn't worry me in terms of fish spotting the hook, etc. Uh, it just means I've got more chance and more gait for it to actually grab the lip and uh, end up in my net. So from there, um, we're gonna take this section, we're gonna pass it uh, through the back, of, uh, the front of the eye as normal. We're gonna leave about a two to three inch tag section, which will become like your sliding D basically at the end. Um, four or five turns, normal knotless knot whipping, obviously taking it through, making sure you do it nice and slowly, keeping everything nice and tight. As we know, bristle filament is a little bit more difficult to work with, uh, this style of stuff. So once you've done, that we're going to take a section of silicon sleeve, just a small section. I'm going to thread that over the hook point. Uh, this is what's going to hold your D in place. I'm going to slide it around so it's just level with the point. You have a mess around, put it in the margin at the end, see where you like to have your uh, silicon bit. From there, we're going to take this tag end and we're going to thread it through the sleeving. You'll notice it's a little bit tricky at first, but once you've got it through, it's nice. Pull it flush down the back of the shank. Then I'm going to take a mini rig swivel. I like to bait, uh, mount my baits on by mini rig swivel rather than a rig ring, simply because under vortexing conditions, I believe the bait can turn a little bit more freely. How much difference that make, I don't know. It's just my own confidence and it's what I like to do and how I like to uh, attach my baits. Um, once I've threaded that on, I'm going to now take it and pass the tag end back through the eye towards the front for the third time. Give that a little snip, blob it down, all nice and neat now. Uh, we're then going to take a flexi ring swivel. Um, I'm going to probably where I turn the fluorocarbon over once I've threaded it on. If you start with about half to three quarters of an inch, by the time you've bedded it down, it's slid out a bit. You'll end up with about a one inch section, which is pretty good for most most uh, circumstances. So once I've done, ripped it round, two turn blood knot, 
bed that down with a bit of uh, saliva as always for all your knots. We're going to then cut it, just blob it down, just secure it all nicely in place. Um, from there, that's it. It's ready to go. We just need to pop a base on it. Uh, in this case, uh, the mainline juicy pineapples, because you do want a nice big buoyant bait, because obviously the size of the hook keep everything popped up nicely. Um, we're going to take some bait floss, tie that on a couple of times, then thread down my hook bait. Um, I'm going to pull that right down. I like to mount it right inside the swivel, uh, get it nice and tight. A couple of overhand knots uh, to finish it off, and then I'll just use a little bit of trip wire again as my hair stop, tighten that off, um, and that's it, ready to go. You thread that down onto your leg core, um, and now I'm going to go chuck it out into the historic church lake and hopefully bag a big cheese.